Hi, my name is Sarah Milosevic, and I'm the Marlies and Robert Gorley Community Outreach Supervisor here at the Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts. A large part of the work that I do is overseeing our Open Doors Fund, which helps to support many different programs that connect youth in Kansas City to the Kaufman Center and to extraordinary performing arts per experiences all year round. I also get to help coordinate Future Stages Festival, and I'm so excited that we were able to bring that event to you online this year. Today, I'm going to share with you a craft that's inspired by two very unique spaces here at the Kaufman Center. The Kaufman Center Children's Wall is a permanent and playful installation at the center where children from the Kansas City community have the opportunity to display their handprints. The Children's Wall supports the Kaufman Center Endowment Fund, which ensures access to the arts for generations to come. The youngest child was only one day old when she got her handprint added to the Children's Wall. This visual installation highlights PNC's flagship philanthropic program, PNC Grow Up Great, a bilingual initiative to prepare children from birth to age five for success in school and life. The Grow Up Great Gallery features more than 300 handprints of preschool students from PNC's four local early childhood partners. Growing Futures Early Education Center and El Centro Academy for Children in Kansas, as well as St. Mark's Child and Family Development Center and Metro Early Learning Center in Missouri. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some animals out of handprints. Here's the supplies that you're going to need some construction paper, scissors, a pencil, some markers, and you can use glue or a little bit of tape. Whatever you have at home is fine. If you don't have construction paper, you can also use just plain white paper, maybe copy paper or printer paper, and use your markers to color the paper in your handprint to make them whatever color you want. So don't worry if you don't have all these exact supplies. We're going to start by making a flamingo handprint um, craft. So pick out whatever color construction paper you want. I picked out a nice light pink, but you could have a purple flamingo, a blue flamingo, whatever you want. So the first thing we're going to do is trace our handprint onto the paper. And there's something important to remember as you're tracing your handprint. So you want to make sure that your fingers aren't tight together. You want to make sure we've got space in between each one of your fingers. And for this one in particular, we wanna make sure that our thumb is very far away from our other fingers because our thumb is actually gonna become the neck of our flamingo. So I'm gonna take my hand, making sure that my thumb is far away from my other fingers and trace with a pencil. And it's okay if it's not perfect because you're gonna end up cutting it out and you won't even see the pencil marks. I'm gonna trace all the way around here. I'm gonna take my hand away, and you can see I made a little mess up there, but it's totally fine. Just gonna close off the handprint here. <clears throat> and so you can see how I have traced the handprint here. Then I will use my scissors to cut this out. Now the scissors are very sharp, and cutting out a handprint can be a little bit tricky, so if you need to ask an adult for help, please do. So I went ahead and already cut that out, and this is what it looks like once you've got it all cut out. Then I'm gonna take another piece of paper and glue this handprint down in the very center of that piece of paper, like so. And once we've got it glued, we're gonna turn it on its side. And this is our body and our neck of the flamingo. Now, I'm gonna take a pink marker to match my pink handprint and I'm gonna draw a little bit more of the flamingo neck and then a flamingo head. And it's kind of the same shape. It's like a hook shape. So think of the top of a candy cane. That's kind of the same shape that you want to replicate here. So I'm just going to draw a hook shape and around. And you know, looking at this, I probably made my head just a little too small. So I'm going to go back and make it just a little bigger. And then I'm going to color in all this with pink. Making sure that I get all that white space and as close to my fingerprint as possible here. 
So we end up with a shape that looks like this. So again, it's kind of mimicking that same candy cane shape. Then I'm going to take my black marker and we're gonna draw a beak on the end of the head. So just a small triangle with the line. And then I'm gonna color just a little bit of the edge because flamingos have like a little bit of a black tip to their beak. And then I'm gonna finish it off with a little black dot for an eye. And I'm gonna give my flamingo some eyelashes. Finally, we need to make some flamingo legs. I'm gonna go back and use my pink marker for this. And as you know, flamingos like to stand on one leg. So I'm gonna draw one leg straight and one leg bent. Then I'm gonna add a little knobby knee and another little knobby knee and some toes. And our handprint flamingo is finished. Now you can draw the flamingo standing in water or maybe underneath a bright yellow sun or underneath a palm tree. There's so many other creative scenes that you can put your flamingo in. Have fun. All right, now we're going to make a butterfly. So we're gonna start by tracing our hand again, but this time we want to fold our piece of paper in half. And I'm gonna place my hand on this paper. Now, this time we just, we need to make sure that our fingers aren't tight together, just a little space again, in between each finger. So we lay it down and I'm gonna trace my handprint. And once again, I'm just gonna close the end of the handprint there. And then I'm gonna use my scissors to cut out the handprint, keeping my paper folded and making sure that I'm cutting through both pieces of the construction paper. And what that's gonna give me is two identical handprints in one go. Now you're gonna take these two handprints and they're going to become the wings of our butterfly. So you're gonna to want to sort of work with them making sure the thumbs are at the bottom and you'll end up gluing them together here. So I'm gonna add a little glue to one end, just where the palm, right along the palm, maybe a little bit more, just for good measure. <clears throat> and glue those together, one on top of the other. So I've made my wings. Next, I'm gonna take a piece of yellow construction paper and make my butterfly body. Now, I already went ahead and drew this out for you, but I'm gonna explain the shapes here that we're gonna use. So, you're going to take and draw an oval shape, making sure that one end is a little bit skinnier and one end is a little bit wider. And then you're gonna to top the oval shape with a circle, which is gonna become your butterfly head. Once again, you'll use your scissors to cut this out and you'll end up with a shape that looks like this. Now, you can see some of the pencil marks on the back of this and that's totally fine because we're going to stick glue on that and then put it down onto our butterfly wings. So, I'm going to put some glue on here. Yep. And glue that down to our butterfly wings. Now, I'm going to take this whole butterfly so we've got our body, our head, and our wings, and I'm gonna glue it down onto another piece of paper, and it's gonna end up looking like this. And now we're gonna add the final touches to our butterfly. So I'm gonna take my black marker here and add an antenna with a little curly cue at the end, and another antenna with a curly cue at the end, and then I'm gonna add two little butterfly eyes. And my butterfly is very happy, so I'm gonna add a big butterfly smile. And voila, 
we've used our hand prints to make a butterfly. Now, you can decorate your butterfly wings. You might add polka dots, or maybe you have some fun stickers at home, or glitter, or there are all kinds of things that you could add to these wings to make them really fun and unique. You might also have um, pipe cleaners at home, and you could use those to make your antennas. There's so many different possibilities you can get really creative with this. All right, our last animal that we're going to create is a crab. So just like the butterfly, we're going to take our piece of construction paper and fold it in half. <clears throat> and then we're gonna trace our handprint on one side of this. Now, this one's a little different because we're gonna make sure that part of our palm hangs off of the construction paper. So. I'm going to situate my hand where, as you can see, that much of my palm is not gonna get traced. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace this. And again, this is just a nice relaxed hand with a little space in between each of your fingers. So. I'm using my pencil. If I make a mistake, it's no big deal. I can erase it or cut it away. So you can see here, that my handprint again, that bottom part of my palm is not on the piece of paper. Once I use my scissors to cut it out, we're gonna end up with a shape that looks like this. And I forgot to mention, just like the butterfly, you're gonna to wanna to make sure when you cut this out that you cut through both pieces of the paper and that your palm is on the folded edge. That's important because when we open it up, our two palms together make that nice body of the crab. Next, I cut two circles out of construction paper. They're pretty big, maybe the top of a, um, a pop top or something like that. A, it's about that size, but these are gonna become our crab claws. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut a triangle out of the circles. So cut in till I hit just about the center then I'm gonna turn it and cut in until I meet in that center point, cutting out, again, kind of a little triangle shape. But what it leaves me with is a little crab claw. Now I cut away about a quarter of the circle there. I'm gonna do that on the other side. Cut in, cut my triangle away, and it leaves me with a little crab claw. I'm gonna add a little glue to the back. Actually, I'm gonna add the glue to my finger here. Now, this is important. Which finger am I, am I adding the crab claw to? So, if we look at our shape together, our thumbs are gonna become our little crabby eyes, so we don't wanna put it there. We're gonna use the next fingers that we come, our pointer finger, to attach those claws. So I'm gonna put a little glue on the end of each of those pointer fingers. and attach my crab claws. Like so. Next, out of some white construction paper, I'm going to cut out two smaller circles. These are probably about the size of a quarter. Um, and these are gonna become my crab eyes. So I'm gonna add once again, we wanna use our thumbs for those crab eyes. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to the end of each thumb. And then I'm gonna stick my little crab eyes onto. Oh. All right like so. Now, I'm gonna take my black marker and make little crab eyes, little black dots, in the center of each circle. Finally, I'm gonna take a piece of white construction paper and make a crab mouth. Now, you can make tons of different shapes for your crab mouth. Maybe your crab is surprised so you make a nice oval. Maybe your crab is angry. 
So you make maybe a more square or rectangular shaped mouth. My crab is super happy. So I cut out a nice smiley face. It kind of looks like maybe a crescent shape or a moon shape. Um, and we're gonna glue that down. I'm gonna put some glue on that mouth. And glue it just about in the middle of my body. And then I'm gonna take my black marker and just make a line to divide his teeth there to a big happy smile. And that's my crab. Thank you so much for joining me today to make these awesome handprint animals in this wonderful, fun, unique, colorful space here at the Kauffman Center. You can actually go online and find templates and ideas for making all kinds of handprint art, including other animals. You might be able to make an entire zoo. Please be sure to check out the other demonstrations, activities, and performance videos on the Kauffman Center website.